salute, salute, salute. Top of the AM. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, Big Fruit. The Michael Jordan of record early in the morning. No matter where I'm at, at the lab, at the cave, or on the road, I handle my scandal. What's good, peoples? Whoo, it is brick ass out here in New York. In case you don't know, Big Fruit is out on the road. So this is basically the, an update to let you know I'm out here moving and shaking. Right now, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I was about to jump on the road and go see my boy Loso. Y'all know I went to see my boy Loso yesterday. I was going to double back today. But uh, I just found out early in the morning. <laughs> Yo, fall back. He got caught this morning. Yeah, he didn't know he had caught yesterday, but he found out yesterday he got caught. I think my boy Loso going to wrap that thing on up so he can come on on home, man. Things worked out for him, man. He could jump on something and get his ass up out of there. And hopefully be home within the next six months or less. No, so you are missing so much. Your boy out here moving and shaking. I am doing things, man. It was an honor and a pleasure to roll up on you yesterday. I love your boy. Real talk. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm out here, man. I'm out here on the world tour, man. I'm outside. I don't know what these other clowns is doing. <laughs> I'm on a world tour, man. I'm on a world tour, man. I pulled up on my little sister, my niece and nephews. I dropped their gifts off. Shout out to Iris. You know what I'm saying? That's Big Belly Man. Heck, rest in peace. I love you, boy. That's his big sister. She had to step in and regulate some shit because uh, things went wrong. You know what I'm saying? I told you one of Heck grandbabies is a newborn. He was born like yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He a newborn. And at this time of the year, the baby fucked around and got sick. So they was in the hospital all night, the family with the baby. I couldn't drive, I couldn't pull up to the hospital with the gifts, you know what I'm saying? So big sis had to regulate shit, you know what I'm saying? So I hope the baby is well. But the gifts were delivered, you know what I'm saying? I had to bag those gifts up, put them in a big box. I ain't unwrap them or nothing. I left them wrapped up, put them in a big box. Uh, post office. Oh, uh, overnight, get these there tomorrow. <laughs> so they blessed, you know what I'm saying? She just kept thanking me. Oh, you 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 so great. Nah, nah, I ain't great. <laughs> I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. That's another thing, man. I don't like when people want to be patted on their back for things they're supposed to do. We'll get back to that. Yeah, she just kept thanking me, man. And I was like, yo, don't thank me, man. We family, man. It's my responsibility and my obligation to make sure heck grandbabies is all right. I'm out here making sure my grandbabies is all right. So I'm going to make sure heck grandbabies is all right because heck is not here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want no props. I don't want no praise. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Pacheco family. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Yo, big heck, I love you. Yeah, man, I'm out here doing what I do. Let me get back to that topic, man. It's like, it's like with being a father. Yo, I take care of my kids. You want praise for that? Yo, I pay child support. You want praise for that? Those are things you're supposed to do. Am I making it like? Am I making it simple? Like, don't praise Big Fruit for doing nothing out here. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? The good Lord gave me a second chance at life when He opened that gate, <laughs> and He told me, "Listen, this is what I want you to do," and I'm doing it. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do out here, people. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And I'm loving every minute of it, man. It keep a smile on my face. It put a smile on other people's face. Can't complain, man. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, is brick ass in New York. <laughs> yo, yo, Brooklyn Mo, it's freezing out here in New York, son. <laughs> but I came suited and booted, son. One time, me and wifey jumped on the road. I think we went to Pennsylvania or some shit. When I was still fucking with the, 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 the bozo nigga head on. Yeah. Uh, we went to Pennsylvania and shit. And we ain't dressed warm. <laughs> we ain't dressed warm. We took jackets and hoodies. Yo, the motherfucking Pennsylvania mountains is crazy. 
I said, oh, this will never happen again. <laughs> Yo, we had to go to the motherfucking Walmart, buy all these, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to the outlets, buy coats, freezing out that motherfucker. That'll never happen again, boy. Your boy be out here shooting and booty. I got the furs, I got the snorkels, I got it all. I'm not having it. Well, shout out to the Foodie Lounge in New Windsor, New York. My boy, really Rap. Yo, my man. I sat down with Rail last night till closing. I got to watch. I got to learn. I got the dialogue with him. I watched him conduct business with not only customers, but uh, future customers who wanted to book his spot. Like, I really watched him willing deal. And for a motherfucker to be an owner, he was taking orders. He was bagging up food, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Like, he was on his grizzly. That's one owner. <laughs> the other owner was in the back on the grill, sh sh getting it right. I was like, oh shit, y'all too deep tonight. He was like, yeah, it's a slow night, but we still shake it. Yeah, man. Foodie Lounge is a beautiful establishment. But more importantly, I got to learn some things. He got to sit down with me, teach me some things. Because in case y'all don't know, your boy got something cooking. I keep telling y'all, pay attention to my moves. Pay attention to my moves, bro. The Lord has blessed me. And I'm going to bless the people <laughs> with the things I have to offer. Trust me. But I got to sit down with Rel and he taught me some things, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, me and Rel are going to do something together, man. Yeah, we're going to do something together. I'm going to try to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to be the first person to host live not on location you got that I'm going to work diligently towards being the first live host of an event but I won't be at the event I'm going to be live at the lab yeah I'm going to be live at the lab, but I'm going to be hosting the event. It's something new. I'm going to try it. More importantly, speaking of new, if you're paying attention to my moves, the Baileys, we have a little following. Some love us, some hate us. It's a beautiful thing. Your boy Big Fruit is going to bring you the reality show, The Baileys, to YouTube. At the Real Big Fruit Podcast, The Voice of the Streets, on YouTube. I am going to bring you The Baileys. 2024, I'm going to bring you The Baileys, The Reality Show. And let me tell y'all right now. <laughs> y'all think y'all love some sunny and fruit? Wait till the cameras get the rolling. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, man. Because she thinks she the boss of me. I'm gonna start this shit early. You know how they had them confession booths? <laughs> yeah. It's going down. We doing confession booths. The whole shit. The Baileys, the reality show Coming to the Real Big Fruit Podcast The Voice of the Streets On YouTube, I'm gonna bring you that Yeah, look forward to me Look forward to seeing me My wife <laughs> My youngest daughter Maybe my oldest daughter My youngest son And of course Of course, we can't do nothing Without my mother-in-law She want her camera time so it's going down. Y'all think T.I. brought y'all some shit. <laughs> but I'm going to bring y'all the real deal. Y'all want it, I'm going to give it to you. The Baileys. 2024. Coming. To the Real Big Fruit Podcast. The Voice of the Streets on YouTube. Yeah, man. I'm going to bring my reality show. I'm going to give y'all an inside glimpse of us. I'm going to even go behind the scenes with the uh, Fruit Mo show. It's going down. I really, really hope 
y'all tap in and support that in 2024 because it's going to be a rocket. <laughs> it's going to be a rocket. Me and the wife have been discussing it for the past two days. And it's going down. Word the mother, it's going down. I just wanted to jump on here and shout out the people. You know what I'm saying? I got held up, told me I can't jump on the road and go see Lopes right now because he got caught. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hope everything work out and he get that deal he wants. And we can slip forward to him being home within the next four to six months because I definitely need Lopes home. Damn, he might be on paper. I need him home for my 50th birthday, man. Word, I need a home for that. That's going to be a movie. That's another story. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be another story. But listen, man, it's your boy Big Fruit. I just wanted to jump on here and shout the people out and let y'all know I'm out here moving and shit. I'm back home. I've been through Brooklyn, Ben Star, East New York. I've been through Queens. I've been through all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm back home. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I'm back home where I belong for the holidays. You know what I'm saying? I've been through the Lower East Side, all that. Yeah, listen, man, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I do. Listen, I'm going to get a body here, and I'm going to tap in with y'all a little later, because I got some things I want to tell y'all. Real talk. Salute.